I was here the other day and I was having a problem with it. It was, um, there's an end switch in there that wasn't closing properly. So what I did was I, I, uh, I turned it a little bit more to fight a boiler. And then I put it on bypass. So what happens is when the boiler runs, calls for heat, this damper will open. The end switch will make and fire the boiler. I uh, have a lot of problem with these things. not working properly so I got another one I just have to change it out to 8 inch and we'll probably have to pop that elbow off take that riser off to change it it's a big boiler this one's a field this one's a FACAL it's got the same mullets plug there it'll be the same it'll work the same See the hole in there? Uh, standing pilot, you'd leave that hole open. You'd leave that hole open on the damper. The standing pilot, if that's electronic spark, you put that plug in that hole. Let's see what this is. Yeah, you can see this electronic spark, so we'll leave that off and put that, plug that hole off. Oh, I'm in here, I'll probably clean these burners too on here. Block that hole off. Put that plug in there. All right, guys. I got the other one off. I took the I took the screws off the elbow and took that riser off. You can see this one here. They never put the plug in on the uh, the pilot hole in this one. You can see a little switch right there to bypass it. You can bypass it once it's open. But, uh, yeah, I got the Molex plug right here. There's only one way it can go in. You can see it's got a flat spot on it. There's only one way that Molex plug can go in. Effical and um, uh, the field. This one's a field. It's the same plug. It's the same Molex plug. Nobody has the Ethical ones anymore, I guess, so let me get this on there. I got the, uh, I plugged the hole. Let me get this in place and get some screws in it and then we'll fire it up and I'll, uh, I'll clean these burners and check it, check the combustion. Alright guys, I'm going to do a combustion test on this thing. We'll start it up and I'll do a combustion test. I took all the burners apart and cleaned them. A little bit of stuff come out of there, but nothing much. A little bit of... All the burners are clean now, so let me fire it up. fan in the can right there. All right, and what will happen is this thing will open on a call for heat and then the burner should fire. This will open and the burner should fire. BTU unit. So let's see, let's let it run and we'll see what the combustion is. Burn the damper in there. And this thing, after a call for heat, after I get satisfied, this will shut off. I'm getting like 1% with the damper. So we'll see what the combustion looks like. a bit and we'll see what it looks like. So 
far so good, it's looking pretty good to me. Alright, all them numbers look fine to me in the combustion, so we're good with that. This print is going to be in line with the unit for it to work right. Put forward. bypass if you have to. But what happens with a lot of these is the end switch gets stuck. Straight in the mullet plug there's a little flat spot on the bottom there. Yeah, the little... That's it. The cover back on. I, should, I probably should have put the cover on when I did the combustion test but it's good. I cleaned all the burners. The burners are all clean. She's good and ready to go. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six, seven zones here. It's all fan coil units upstairs, first company units. Um, no fan in the can. You know what's happening with this, when this burner gets satisfied? See, it just gets satisfied. The burner shut off. That damper shut off. And uh, it's off on limit now. It's off on limit, it will shut off. When it calls for heat again, that thing will turn back on. See, all the zones are satisfied yet. So she shut off. When she calls for heat again, this will open. And fire the burner. Limit set at 180. Yeah. So. It's off. <laughs> See one of those zones are calling right there. This will shut off and keep the heat in the boiler. Here's what the old unit look like. It's just a little motor. Some guys try to just change the motor, but I change the whole damper when there's a problem. I find it's better to change the whole damper out in case that board goes bad or something. And this little cover just goes right on there. Bypass switch right there. There's a lot of them I just bypass it and leave it alone. There's also a little plug you could you could disconnect the harness and plug it off if you had to, but yeah, there for the guy. You must have that on a delay that um, she just fired back up again. See, it's open. You just fired back up again. Alright, 
damage is the, the damper breakdown for the field. And here's one for the Ethical. You can see it's the same thing. It's the same exact Molex plug, the same colors. It's the same. And here's one from an old style that's got the flat connector. But they do make a bypass plug, a uh, harness, bypass harness. If you have an old damper, you have to get a harness like this and then hook up the wires accordingly to the diagram. They do, this is the one for the old, old style damper. It's got like a flat. A flat Molex plug, all the all the wires are in line. If you ever come across one of that, you got to get a harness with a new damper and hook it up accordingly. There's a wiring diagram right here. There's the Epical. And there's the field. Like I said, it's the same. Saw my stuff that I cheat sheets, you know, for different things that you need to know about. It's always good to reference. That's it.